Hi, this is Tracy Tofty with Patrick Lopez and Associates, and this is 411realestatetv.com. What type of loan do you have? People oftentimes don't realize that if they have a purchase money loan or a recourse loan, that definitely affects the type of short sale that you're going to have. Now, what is a purchase money loan? A purchase money loan is, let's say I bought a house two years ago and I put 100000 down and I got a loan for $400,000 that is a purchase money loan. That loan was just to purchase the property. A recourse loan is, let's say I've had that house for 10 years and I have equity in the house. I have $200,000 worth of equity. I pulled $100,000 out of the property and I bought a I don't know, a Range Rover <laughs> and a jet ski and a boat. Okay, that's a recourse loan. You have refinanced your house, pulled money out of the property, and now you have a recourse loan. Those are two very different loans, and it definitely affects the type of road we are going to go down when we try to do a short sale on the property. Now, our team, Patrick Lopez and Associates, we use a full time negotiator, a company that we pay for out of our commission. The seller, the homeowner, does not pay for their service services to negotiate on your behalf. So if there is a purchase money loan only on the property, that is going to be a much easier short sale. If there is a first that's purchase money and a second that's a recourse loan, a HELOC, you pulled money out, depending on how much the first gets paid on the short sale, if there's enough to give the second, let's say $3,000, $5,000, whatever they're looking for, oftentimes we can ask for a full release from for the seller for any type of um, judgment coming after the seller later on down the line. Those are standard, typical type of short sales. A first and a second, the second gets a few thousand dollars, and they release any kind of judgment against the seller later on down the line. Now, if there is a first and a second and the first is getting a lot less than what was owed on the first due to the value of the property and there is no money for the second and it was a recourse loan, the seller needs to be prepared that they may need to make a seller contribution. What that contribution is, I don't know. Every situation is different. But we always let the sellers know when you're doing a short sale, if it is a recourse loan, depending on how upside down you are, you need to be prepared that you may need to make a seller contribution. One more thing I wanted to mention, if you have an HOA, a homeowners association, it is so important to stay on top of that payment. The lender will not make back payments and the HOA can and will come after the homeowner for those back payments, so that's important to remember. Please check out our website, 411nod.com, and it is only a phone call away to stop that foreclosure. Please give us a phone call, 661-290-3765. Thank you.